Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome to an ad hoc stream. Clumsy Trucking is back a day early because 1.37 is now in open beta and I could not pass it up. I cannot wait till tomorrow. So yes, Rohan called it in the Discord. He said, I will be doing an ad hoc stream and I am. I'll tell you more about it. But first, thank you guys for joining. Welcome back. Stinky Llama is the first one I've seen. <laughs> Good morning, man. Glad you made it. Wow, ad hoc stream as well. Appreciate it. I also made an announcement on YouTube. Hopefully that helps people uh, know more. Uh, Tom, how are you? Thank you for joining. How are you feeling now? Hey, name. Glad you made it. And Geek Squad and Edmund as well. How are you guys? Alex and Jack, yar, I believe these hunters just came back from a good haul. How are you guys? How was hunting? Were you hunting? Sorry, I was doing some stuff in the background and I could not drop by. Uh, yes, you probably told me, but my window was not open yet. <laughs> so <laughs> my window is not open 24-7, so I might have missed that. Hey, Texan Husky, glad you made it in the stream. Man, thank you for all the inputs in the YouTube uh, videos. Yes. Thank you. You can't kill more of the icons. Woo! Have you spent all your points, Jack? <laughs> uh, Gilmore Extravaganza. Let me load up the game because I'm sure you guys are excited as I am to check it out. You probably have checked it out yourselves already. For some reason, the hotkeys aren't working. There we go. Whoa, that's loud. Ah, I know what's happening. You guys can hear me? The sound settings probably reset. <laughs> One second. <laughs> because it's 1.37. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Let's uh, bring back the relaxing music. So that was weird. Now it's working. Isn't it? Or now it, nothing's gone. All right, let me show you the screen I'm, I'm working with right now. Thanks, Tom. They did ultrasound on your knee. Ah, I see. Get well soon, man. That's good to hear, yeah. Keep it up. So something was weird with the volume. Now music won't go back. Now all the audio is gone and it won't come back. Okay, uh, let's turn that off. Maybe that one, turn that off. Uh, reset to default, let's, let's do this. Oh wow, I might regret that. It is open beta after all, what can we expect? Let's turn that off. Let me restart the game and see if things will look better. Hey Mikey, sorry missed some people. Thank you for joining guys. We are checking this out together and we are fumbling around together. <laughs> Haven't been here yet. Yeah, welcome back, Edmund. Great to have you back, man. Glad you made it. How are things? Not a fan of the changes. Oh. I have been reading the forums. There have been mixed reviews about it. Here we go with the music again. Not yet, Tom, but for sure soon. But they decided to go with ATS first. Music volume is off.
but it's in full volume. So I guess it's something you cannot turn off at the moment. That's my takeaway from it. Alright, let's turn off the music here. Okay. Next month most likely. Yeah, probably in a couple of days. You like that now you can open the windows. That's great. Hey Darren. So yeah, first and foremost, you can see all the new options in the sounds. I'm not sure everything is working at the moment though. Music is not working. <laughs> That's going to be very tricky. How do we work with this, guys? Turn that off. I'll just have to live with it for now. Maybe it disappears when we get to the main screen. Alright, at least it's gone now. Rain hype. It's the UI game sound. It is the UI game sound. Where is it? UI music. Ah, you're a savior. Thank you. Thank you. I completely missed that. You are a lifesaver. Okay, so now we can bring back the music in there and bring back my music here. Thank you guys for telling me. Sorry, I missed that. Good. Thanks, Alex. Yes, sorry, I missed that. I am getting swamped. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's bet better if we don't have any music whatsoever. And let's keep the music in there. But let's lessen it like so. Let's go everything. Set everything to maximum for now except the music. That one should work. Just very mild. But just so we can experience the full thing. And then let's adjust as we go. Open and close are separate as well. Doing good, Darren. Super excited for 1.37. I just finished the flight. And sorry for this. The stream is a bit late than usual. I was supposed to start earlier. But I told myself I have to record two videos. That's new. It didn't sound like that before. I'm sure. Not as powerful as I had hoped. From what I've read, it's the T680 that received the new engine sounds. The others, I'm not so sure. We can open and close the windows. Separate buttons. Hey, da. Glad you made it just in time. That is very weak. Let me see. Did I have anything different? Invalid volume range. Interior volume is 0.5, don't worry. It's set to 0.5 at the moment. Let's set it to 1. Wait a minute. Default is 0.5 now. Ah, default is 0.5 now. Okay. Alright, let's ignore that then. Maybe we should switch to the T680, huh? Wipers are very nice. I heard they changed the international blinkers. And people didn't like it anymore. You should set a keybind for open and close for right and left windows. Thank you. Hey, Chiefs. Welcome to the stream just in time. We are testing things out for the first time and I am... Uh, scrambling <laughs> so you see we have four new keys open and close for the right window open and close for the left window I saw someone in the forums was a smart guy I don't think you can assign the same key here like opening that one let's say 
and then this one assign the same thing yeah it will get transferred but you can set it up in the config file that you have the same keys for them so open right and left window at the same time close right and left window at the same time if you change it in the config maybe SES will change it here and allow that eventually but for now I have to find some keys for it hmm. not sure if I still have that uh, tricky 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 what what key did you guys assign I don't have any keys anymore I think let's see All right that thanks for dropping by catch you soon watch your pedals in truck when you brake and accelerate I'll try I will try these cameras I can live without maybe we can override them for now Yes. Let's go and do that. You can use the plus and minus keys. Let's go for uh, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Does that work? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine. I can do. So open, close. Put that to six. Open will be seven. Oh, I, I want the left window. Close. Open. Close. Open. <laughs> it's like a mercenary rhyme in here. All right, let's see. <gasps> it works. And then if you double tap it, I heard it goes full the full way. Or not. I thought it was it did. Did they change it? Ah no, one tap should get you there. I love how the sounds really change though. When you do that. so quiet now let's go and rev it a bit so good very nice even comes with that squeak and it gets to the top yeah you know right and the other side can be rolled down as well the engines have a bit of work <clears throat> i read this as well and i can concur when you let go of the gas there is no sound whatsoever there's not like idling or it just goes silent yeah like that silent but i'm sure scs will do something about that they are aware of it already so it's just a matter of time. Ah, you can hold it and let go, or you can just press it once and it go will, will go the whole the entire way. Press it once, it goes all the way. Hold it, release it, and it stops wherever you want it. I see. Okay, makes sense. No mods, yeah, just beta. One point thirty seven beta. Now I do want to check it out in one point. Um, in T680, they said that's the one with the best engine sounds at the moment. So I think it's good if we try that out. Let me set the time to maybe 6 a.m. And let's find a quick job because I don't think I have anything. I don't have. I don't think I have a T680 in my fleet. This, we're only level 12. Yeah, W900 only. They were very disappointed with the W900 from what I've read in the forums. Uh, I think that's a work in progress. But so far the T680 seems like it really got a lot. Can the gap get wet? I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet at least. So let's go for price per distance. 
go for a T680, look for the first one. Maybe not a heavy hole. Can I even find the T680? That's a Kenworth, right? That is, these guys. Kenworth T680. That's a Volvo. The first one is indeed that one. That's heavy hole though. That one. A T680 high rise sleeper, 600 horsepower, 18 speeds from Gallup to Everett. Wow. You guys good with that? You guys want a long journey or do you want to test different trucks? I'm a bit uh, thinking about it. <clears throat> Not sure if we can finish that though because I won't be streaming for so long. Maybe only one hour plus. Let's see other things. Maybe how about that one? It might be a good warm up. 531 miles. Let's go with that instead. I might not be able to commit to that long journey. Milling machine, 48 tons. Short jobs with different trucks. I like that approach. Yes, let's go for... Pick a closer one, maybe. This one is perfect, yes. Dynamite, 18 tons. Phoenix to Holbrook in Arizona. Let's take that. 1.37 and 1.38 will be so good. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm so happy that it's finally out. At least the public beta. Change this a bit. Uh huh. Move down a bit. Sorry if I'm missing some messages, guys. Give me some time to catch up and uh, get back to you once things have settled down. I think I still have a reshade profile enabled, so the, I don't have mods, but I do have plugins. That's the default lighting. That's the reshade. So not really a lot of difference, just a few contrast changes. Let's hear it from outside. Oh, that's it already. This quick. so sure if I like it. What I do like is that the engine sounds change depending if, if you're close like this or far like that. Rather meh. I think it's a very good concept that they move to F mod but I think they will have to do a lot more to utilize it properly. That is so cool though. I like that, I really like that. Even just opening the window just a bit. And the other side. Oh, that is awesome. Let's play like this. Let's let's do different configurations, okay? Open like this, then let's close it if we like it, and then let's see how things change and whatnot. <clears throat> Can't wait to hear the traffic. Hey, official DJ Sab. Sounds great. Much better than before. It's good to hear. Am I in automatic? I am auto automatic. One sec, huh? Uh, 18 speed. Let's go and check that out. Change this so I have better control on my shifting. 18 speeds. <clears throat> Windows down at a large intersection should be interesting. That's a very good point. Let's go and test those. Hey Sonoma! Sorry I missed that. One sec, I'm just messaging. Okay. I just finished recording an explain video, Sonoma. <clears throat> you might enjoy it. I like that rattling sound.
very raspy. Hey, Bumblebee. Couple of fans to keep that immersion. <clears throat> and if we lower it down more, will it be even better? Yes, it will. And if we close them, Windows closed, everybody. Does it sound so much like inside the cab though, or just is the sound just muffled, or is not not muffled enough? I can't say. It doesn't feel quite right still. It's a good first step though, I must say. I don't think we have it nailed quite closely yet though. Oh wow, I do like that Jake break though. Let's go and lower the windows again. I think I like those a lot more. Both sides. <coughs> Sorry, let me try and catch up. And the Mac is coming. Yes, that's true. People have been looking at the definition files and they have been seeing the Mac just like how they saw the Lone Star, I think. So hopefully, before this patch is done, we get a new truck. I noticed something about the gear shifting. It's not there at the moment. Yes, hey Andy, these are SES sounds. Very nice. Oh, that gives a smile to my face. That is so good. Love it. Yeah, that, that shifting is so wrong. Because it gets cut off somehow, somewhere. Yeah, that one, you guys heard? They'll need to adjust that. But it does sound much more 3D now. You can even hear the turbo whine. You guys hear it? I would also like to hear how the traffic sounds like. Let's go quiet here. Full windows down. Come on, pass us. Not too bad. I mean, I guess it doesn't sound like a proper truck yet. Not so sure I like it already. I do like it somewhat. But I'm not sure how much it changed from the previous. Like with sound fixes, if it's better. Windows closed, and it's a totally different world. Maybe they sound better looking out the window. That's actually a good test. Before, when you look out, it's a completely different set of sounds. Now, I'm expecting they should be the same if you're fully windows down, or almost the same. <clears throat> assume these are the sounds they recorded when they visited the US ah yes that's a good assumption might be let's go and open the windows again
that does sound pretty nice. Can you look out at those window? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. My jaw hurts. <laughs> yeah, I, I read someone commented about that. They should now restrict the view when your window is closed to make it realistic. And when your window is open, then you can peek out. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Check this down with the glass. And I like that you can adjust the engine sound by adjusting the windows. Just very realistic. I remember I think I told you guys about it before. If I need to talk, I can close the window fully so I can get the entire airtime. But I remember telling you about this before. There are some sports cars where there is a vent that opens, a literal vent to the outside of the car that opens when you step on the gas so that you hear the engine more. So in this way, we're kind of doing that same, same thing. We're just opening the vents so that we hear more of it, like so. You're one with a glass. <laughs> hey, thanks for following. Welcome to the channel. Hey, Bla, glad you made it, man. Have you tried open beta yet? Sounds very different now. The new update is a work in progress. I would say it's very interesting. But it's still very raw, very open beta. But it's nice that we were able to try it. I do love the sounds of this T680 though. Not, st still not uh, crisp boom or EVR level I would say. But very crisp. I think a few more mixing should do the trick. A few more improvements in the mixing. Especially with the shifting gears and the engine idle sound or something. I particularly like the Jake brakes though. New trailer in game as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the full trailer. Let's go and check that out after this job. Let's hop into the store because there is a new walk around feature, right? <clears throat> can open the window <laughs> yeah it makes a lot of sense should be able to change how the sounds feel based on how the windows are opened waiting for a bit till it's a bit more stable a lot of crashing <laughs> yeah that would make sense I'm not sure if it's unstable though, it might be due to people playing with mods, but we'll see. We only just started. I am playing with vanilla though. Vanilla profile, no mods whatsoever. To really get the full experience. Because I'm sure all the mods would need to be adjusted. Most of the mods, especially the sound ones. Oh, I love that. That car passing through sounded very nice. Hey, Kaleidoscope. Welcome to the stream. The sounds are pretty interesting. Some of them are good. Some of them are uh, not so much. But the entire thing as a whole is super interesting because it's a completely new way of approaching things. Like if I close the windows like so, everything just turns super quiet i think there needs to be something like a muffled effect because right now i think what's only happening is it's only the like the volume is lessening so it feels like yes you're inside but it's not doesn't have that muffled approach you know how krishbom does it like he has like interior sounds which are muffled and then you can change it i think it needs more of a muffling if you have full windows closed not so sure though. I um, can't quite pinpoint it. What do you guys think? But you can open it a bit like so. Then you get a completely different sound. Triple tankers are available too. Nice. 
playing recently and we're wondering when there will be ownable tank trailers. Uh, is it the first ownable tank trailer? That would be great. <coughs> These food uh, tankers, how are they different from the usual tankers for fuel? Do they look different or is it just that the contents are different? Maybe they have a chiller? I don't know. So far things have been looking pretty smooth. Performance has been tip top. AI actually is pretty plenty. I'm not sure if I changed the traffic somewhat. One sec, guys. Huh? Let's double check that. Oh, and the, the, the sound fades out very subtly. Traffic. Traffic is one. This, this is default traffic. Interesting. You have not played with triples? Yeah, same with me. Because I'm scared to park them. <laughs> If I keep hitting the window close, you hear that sound, which is very real. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. So if you go outside like this, you, f you hear the entire, the full volume of it, which makes sense. Well, not that you can go through the window, but yeah, that's something that they should lock now, I think. AI traffic sounds could be a bit better. Yeah, probably... Um, Drive safely and Sipinho will get to that soon enough. But it's good that the engine is there. I'm sure anything that is lacking in the quality would be our modders will make up for it. But yes, unfortunately that means in MP that probably won't be available either. If there are e any secret Idaho roads in this beta, that's a good question indeed. Let's try and look for it. Um, we won't find any over here though but maybe in the next job we can find something yeah someone scour the forums and sees if someone's found something already someone mentioned something about the clouds moving but I think that's an old feature not so sure outside versus inside is a bit too much of a change yeah well, you can change the, the external volume as a whole. So the audio settings are super detailed now. Let's go and lower that down a bit. Just a tad like that. Just to get the right balance in there. A little bit of a peak of the outside exterior sounds, including the traffic. Must say, I did miss driving an ATS though. Mac Anthem stuff coming out of nowhere in these recent ATS updates too. Yeah. Heard about that. Very interesting update. Dealership then def fast for it in this update. Looking forward to that one. Most likely Sith. Welcome to the stream by the way. I am assuming so. I have not even tried enabling any of my mods. This is a fully vanilla profile, no mods enabled, and I would not be trying them out until modders get their hands on it for maybe at least a week and give some updates. Many of yours were read in the mod manager, ah, makes sense. Yeah, I don't think it would be a wise choice to try and run it unless you are a modder and trying to make it compatible, but if you are, have the intention of playing and checking out new features. I highly recommend the vanilla profile and I highly recommend creating a brand new profile and you never put mods in it just so you're sure you always get the pure experience, no uh, alterations whatsoever. 65 miles cruise control. K100 for sure, oh man. Your poor Mac Superliner. 
will probably be broken. Oh yeah, your favorite truck. I hope someone takes over. He removed all of the truck and sound mods. Yes, it will require a bit of an adjustment for sure. Because it's a totally new sound engine. Map mods, I assume, will have problems as well because they do have their own sounds. And if the sound engine changed, then those implementation of those might change as well. That's true. Sign textures have changed. Oh, even that? Goodness. They're really breaking a lot of things, huh? But it's all part of progress. Someone was commenting on my Transport Fever 2 video. Sorry, I forgot the name. But he's been watching the series and providing me lots of valuable inputs. And one of those is don't hesitate to destroy something short term if you're sure that long term it will be worth the the benefit will be worth it <clears throat> so we might get inconveniences short term mods being incompatible and such but having these engine improvements audio engine improvements i think will be worth it in the long haul they will be able to unlock so much potential for our amazing audio modders. EVR, I know, has been very excited about this F mod change. Sorry, I'm sure they are getting straight to work. Yeah, 1.38, I can't even imagine that. I'm purely at 1.37 at the moment. Sierra Nevada with 1.37. There are some red signs. Ah, that's that's good. At least it's not that bad. <clears throat> what map are they doing? The Anthem. Which one is the Anthem? Is that the one that Harvin made? With the nice dashboard? The one from... Frank Peru and then Harvin improved. I keep mixing it up. That is the tr I see. Nice. The new looking Mac. It's great having a modern Mac truck like that in vanilla. open that other side as well that sounds much better much more even hmm actually let me test that if I close this other side oh well, that's true I hear it more on my right ear and if I do the other way close both open only one side yeah, I, I hear it more on the left side. But when I look like this... Sorry, was not my intention. I am trying to see if I turn my head, if the orientation of the sounds change. Or maybe not. So if I open the window... No, it still stays on my right, right ear. Even if I look at the back like that. Try the horn, yeah, that's a good point. Let's close the windows first. Might be too loud. That's an entirely new horn, I think. Air horn. Let's hear it a bit with windows down. Just a bit. Prepare your ears, guys. You've been warned. Oh, not too bad. It's like a UFO sighting. I don't know. What is that? Loan payments, I think. Yikes. That's not the sound we want to hear. <laughs> Relatively expensive headphones, oh, I'm sure. Let's try something. I sound the horn. And I close the window. Open it rather. Kind of 
works. I like it. And then we can modify this because everything is default here at the moment. I love how that sound just fades out when you go to the menu. It doesn't cut off anymore. That's a very nice small detail that I really appreciate. Now I set reset to defaults here, but I might have ruined it because there were some things here that were not in the middle in the beginning. That might actually sound better. Truck effects, truck exhaust, truck noise, trailer noise. Traffic volume. So if we increase the traffic volume, maybe the world sounds. I know that's not the way to balance it, but let's hear it. Hey, virus from Costa Rica. How are you? I think I know the time in Costa Rica. Let me see. 8 p.m. Because I work with some people from Costa Rica. Uh, can't remember. Maybe. 8 or 7 p.m. is my guess. That's where the maxed out traffic sounds. Let me lower my windows fully. It's not bad. Stars on the nice. 8 p.m. Nice. Thank you for following, Virus. Loving that raspy sound. What the cut though? Oh, that's okay. That's as loud as I can get it. Follow you guys right on my channel. If you can hear me! <laughs> Let's close the windows. Okay, that one I think is the right balance. What? <laughs> Thank you for following. Welcome guys. Hope you are enjoying 1.37. Can definitely see the potential, huh? I think the s their sounds are a bit raw and sometimes not for the better, but uh, it's a very good first step, and I'm sure SCS will be tweaking this a lot more. And this is why they move; they are moving to open beta because this is when the opinions of the quote-unquote experts would come into play. What to get the mad case of Pilipus? <laughs> Yikes. Ray Rohan! You called it indeed. I was planning to stream at this, the usual time, but I told myself I was recording an explained video and it didn't go well the first time. I had to repeat it. So when that finished, then I could stream. Because I needed to make two videos today so that I have something for the weekend. Cutting off of the shifting gears, I really hate. Don't know when it happens because sometimes it sounds good. New engine sounds, new engine, uh, audio engine. Hear that shake break. And look at those shaking skies. Looks like it's oh wow. can actually hear the quarry. Now that I like. 8319 with a different livery and there's a story behind it. A pilot's life story. Let's open the windows more. Crash 
crashing wave sounds. Let's try it. Yeah. And if we open it only on the other side, then we hear it on our right side. That sounds super nice. Initially, I was thinking there was no point in having two windows separately controlled, but now I understand the point. Because you can change really how it sounds per ear, per side, depending on which window is opened. The problem is, dang it, did this wrong, and looks like if I peek out, too noisy. But yeah, they should disallow this. They should not, they should prevent this peeking out when the windows are closed. That would be a nice addition. Not sure if it's that easy to implement though. This is going to go badly guys, I can smell it. The idle sounds... I have not had time to listen to them so much. Um, they're okay, I guess. Oh, the dog! This will not work, guys. We'll have to go around. Just like landing a plane. Clumsy 168 going around. hear a bit of the ambience. And now we're stuck. Hopefully Tom, that's the hope. They want to cheat. Can you say jackknife? <laughs> we should camera should stop and hear a thump. Yeah. Or maybe an ow. <laughs> maybe someone can mod that in. fit through here. Oh, I should have gone on the other side. There's actually a road there. Before this was a dead end, wasn't it? This area right on the right side like this. But now it actually goes through. That's... Uh, I thought lucky. Apparently not. You can look out the window without having to open it. Yeah, same with me. I am out of buttons. No problem, Rohan. Just struggling to go get through here. Jackknife incoming. Maybe they should allow controlling the window via track IR. <laughs> if you look up and down. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a mess. Let's uh, really love that. Audio in and out, uh, fade in and out. World sounds volume, let's make that default. It's a bit too loud. I may need to teleport and then you guys will call my cheating. I know the drill. <laughs> no, but yeah, I think you're right. But we can try. Did I hit my front there? Hitbox issues. You're free! Good, alright. Proceed one more time. Let's take the widest turn we can do. Cheating! 
<laughs> not quite, not yet, not yet. Close, but not yet. Yeah, there, when you let go of the pedal, the engine just cuts immediately. You don't like that. There's no like ramping down sound or something. Stick to the edge. I think that's as close as I can do it. Aha! Not gonna think of that one. <sighs> Go around works. <laughs> Level 14, uh, 13. I always get confused there. Nice. Uh, we should get... Why did I get the just-in-time delivery? Uh, fuel economy would be nice. Why not? Hey, XK! 1.37 beta is looking quite good. It's a bit rough around the edges, but... Good start. Non cheaty parking. <laughs> yeah, fart friendly. Let's go and try another truck. What, guy, what truck do you guys want to try? The Lone Star? And uh, we can look. Maybe. Which one is Idaho? Is it this state? Ontario would be the best place to look for it. Get back to trucking. We were in the T680. That is what has been said to have the new engine. The new engine sounds. We do have the Lone Star right here waiting for us. It would pay better normally if we use our own truck. Let's hear the horn for this one. Ow! Why inside? And of course the windows won't work because the engine is closed. Sorry guys for rip headphone users. Try it. Try the horn. Uh, I think uh, the horn was placed wrongly inside the truck. <laughs> that hurts so bad. Let's go outside and hear it. Still as loud, no, thank you. I can't hear anything. Hey, Redliner, the horn is under your seat, or maybe it's coming from the B. <laughs> it, it does sound like it, very strong on the right ear. Sorry about that, Velcro. Yeah, welcome to the club. <laughs> horn spam and truckers MV rip eaters. <laughs> Yes, the indicator sounds are wrong. They, they said they changed it. I think it became generic. I think they lost some of the custom sounds for each of the trucks because of this change. But hopefully they'll bring it back bit by bit. So maybe let's try the W900 instead. This guy. Oh, let's have a look at the, the walk around feature. Are there new keybinds for walking around? I haven't checked it yet. There is walk mode. Forward, back, left, right. There is a crouch and a run. Okay. Um, how do I do this? This is run, let's see. This is crouch. Only in the showroom for now. Yeah, in the showroom. Let's see, if we go to truck dealer, try to get ourselves a W900, let's say. Yeah, I think it's a real walk around. They, they, previewed, they previewed this at one point. 
Just can't remember. There was a teaser about it with a, with a subtle hint. But they... It was very subtle, but uh, someone caught it. Someone shared it in Discord. That one. Switch camera mode. There you go. So you can walk around, and then the guys were saying, Oh, now that walking around can be a thing, you can actually push it further, allow this in the game, in the world itself. <gasps> Truck IR works! Is it? It, it, it does. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, kind of weird though, how that is working out. I think they have to fix that a bit first. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, walking through the truck in the world and then attaching the cables, you know, that I think, this is I think a very good step forward. How far can we go out? Only until the edges, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go out here. Let me out. Open, open door, left click. Chick, chick. Nah, not really. Does it look fuzzy when you move? I'm not sure how track IR works. I think it's just a bug that it's allowed. I don't think they will allow it normally. But it's good that you can do this now. Really check things out like so. And you can crouch and check all the nuts and bolts one by one. That is super cool. Yeah, if you can unload pallets by yourself. That's amazing. And then we can run. Yeah, you can run. Hold down the run button. Cool stuff. Can we do the same in a trailer? <clears throat> because I would like to check out the new trailer. I think we should be able to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Trailer purchase. 47, wow. Welcome, guys. Um, the bug feed, the food tank is the one that's new, right? It's nice that we can get this now. An actual tanker. And yes, we can walk around as well. Amazing. For those who are not familiar with it, and you can go full screen as well and show the truck. Right? Perfect. And take a photo. Not very scenic with what I did, but you get the point. Food products only. What kind of food do they put in here, guys? Yeah, imagine being able to attach the cables on your own. And if you miss it, you won't have brake lights. You won't be able to stop the trailer. <laughs> yeah, Stream Deck would do nicely. Or, yes, Farmside Panel would be an even better solution. Keyboards will eventually run out of keys, that's true. Open the door and let me in. Oh, that would be so cool. Controller plus keyboard. 10 farm sim panels, I know, right? Okay, good. That's a good try. So we can use this, the normal view, or the, the, yeah, the, the, the existing one for looking around. But if you want to go through them in detail, <laughs> it actually drops you down like oh, orbit camera. Like you have a stand and when you want to walk, like, oh, plop. And then you, you can go around and crouch and look through each of the bolts. Everything is in place. It just allows more freedom of movement so you can really check if something is jutting out or not and such. And you can configure like this. So if I change, oh crap, everything is locked. Food tank 27K, uh, different axle types. Yeah, so yeah, we can configure exactly from here. Change the paint job. Oh, very sleek. I like it. 
it's compatible with the stripes paint job the dlc very nicely done classy i think we'll get one of these let's try it out huh that looks very sleek looks like an oil tanker almost really check the detail in those xbs mods i know right let's get one of these i think i like this the best oh sleek super sleek okay and then what can we do here trailer lights exclusive mud flaps these are pretty standard a hose oh nice for transferring just like a combine maybe exclusive lights there you can put an aluminum box here spare tires chrome boxes and go look so close now they really need high res textures with this kind of change that's very cool need to figure out how to do custom paint jobs and stuff soon yeah that would be nice i dabbled in that before but uh, i have forgotten everything i've learned since goldfish memory hype let's put holes on both sides i'm not sure if you really need that i guess but it would be more even in terms of weight balancing so let's keep it good um here we can also change make that chrome a bit more flashy but it's so nice to configure up close like this so cool a very nice change not expected but very much welcome i like maybe we don't need that cap all right let's just finish this one let's buy it and then let's take it out and check on some other features okay by that i do have 72k yes i do are we in albuquerque i think we are i don't think we'll have a chance to check idaho here but eh, let's see so international guys or w900 any preference this is our lone star the w900 is a simpler variant if you check that here yeah it's pretty basic <coughs> w900 food tank let's use that guy okay let's go with the w900 drive it no no no, no. upgrade it we want to remove those signs first we won't need that for our trip walk around oh yeah and the dots will be much more visible from here headache rack we don't need that i like that very subtle but very welcome okay good new banner caution sound testing in progress yes indeed <clears throat> good is the trailer here i don't think so i think we have to enable it again that actually looks super sleek now let me walk around here come on do it nah, cannot yet let's hear how the engine sounds guys that was pretty silent i must admit
No retarder. Wiper sounds are not bad. Switches are okay. Windows. I like all same. <laughs> Super quiet when you let go. It's like somebody siphoning, vacuuming the sounds away. A two-stroke diesel sound mod, just like in the Mac Mac R, was it? What? <laughs> oh, that's really going to be a game changer. No. <laughs> yes, it's in beta 1.37 out now in 8ts public beta. mess with the windows and mess with the sound volumes in line with that fade out for the win okay what can we do milk all milk is milk the only cargo we can do with this should have called it a milk tanker <laughs> no other cargo what what other things chocolate maybe wine wine in that tanker vodka tequila Oh, that would be nice. Tequila tanker. <laughs> we should mod that in. Clumsy tequila as a cargo. 26 tons of clumsy tequila. Albuquerque to Socorro. Very short trip. Pays very well though. Let's do it. I think that 170 miles would do better, but this is closer. Yeah, let's go with that. Absolute clumsy. <laughs> Have a good one, Texan Husky. Glad you were able to join the stream. Catch you soon, man. Yeah. No, those cutting off sounds. So let's give the beta a couple of days or maybe a week for the developers to iron out the kinks and we'll try it again. But tomorrow we will be streaming this and checking it out in more detail. So if you have not had enough, then we will do this again tomorrow. So don't forget to follow or subscribe. I won't mind <laughs> if you guys want to join us tomorrow again. We start tomorrow at 8 a.m. local time, my time. That's 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so one hour earlier than what we started with today. Let's take that. It's really too raw. I hope one day would be enough to change some things. And get yourselves a shirt as well. <laughs> Promotion hype. It's not yet Velcro, but I'm really looking forward to it. Going to explore more of France when that happens. I must say I'm not liking the W900 sounds at all. It's cutting off too quickly. Doesn't sound too impactful. I think it's a bit of a shame for this truck. This classic that everyone looks forward to. I think if anything, they should have prioritized putting best sounds on W900. Because <laughs> this is arguably one of the most famous trucks out there, right? American truck. I do love the ambient sounds though. Very nice. Come on. Put more forward. Wait a minute, that's something I like. The gear grinding is coming from the outside now. That's awesome, I like that. 
that would make it more how do you say livable to do with floating gears and double clutching because you won't be as punished with the static 2d sound of that gear grinding just repeating in your ears i like all right so that's one good thing i would i appreciate it is the beta, yes, so with, let's give it a couple of days. I'm sure they'll iron it out. Did the engine just die on me? I think it did. That's not too bad. The engine itself, when it's revving up, it's not too bad. I mean, maybe not crash boom or EVR level, but I, it's okay. But what I really hate is when you shift gears, when you let go of the pedal, it just cuts out. Like, this is okay. But when you switch, suddenly everything is lost in one click, in a snap of a finger. But a lot of people have complained about that already. So I'm sure SCS knows it, they've replied about it. Yeah, that one. Huh? And you can he you can see it clearly because of that overlay. When I let go of the gas, sounds go to zero immediately. Let's try to float here. Floating gears means shifting without stepping on the clutch. Perfect. We need to make the sound better, that's true. It's a bit... It's a bit... Uh, how do you say? I do like the Jake break. I do like the Jake break. But yeah, you have to balance out the cutting off more. That's true, they just need EVR and they're good. They're golden. It's a very good starting point, that's true. Crap detour. <laughs> uh, okay, at least it will be a longer trip. Or we can actually sneak in. <laughs> I'm not sure, there might be something up ahead, but we'll worry about it later. Oh, we'll take a photo here. Maybe there's something new in the photo studio as well. They said, don't quote me on this, but they said I think they only had one guy taking care of all the sounds. And if so, then that's a massive achievement. This one I would like to change, this panning. Move it to my, my joystick, my uh, G27. I need a thumbnail shot, guys. Bear with me a bit. I was hoping that you can walk in through here as well. Do your walk around in this view. But maybe that would be hard because they would have to take note of all the, the bounding boxes and what. Well, although that already is in the game by itself. 1.37 for the win. Quite raw, but... That's what the open beta is for. It's not a finished product. Yeah, exactly, blah. I think it's only made by one guy. 
which begs the question why you have such a large team they probably know by now the importance of sounds why not hire more people hire EVR my goodness I know that was his dream to be to get a job from SES at least that's what he said before oh crap what is this yikes this is me and this is blah trying to save me <laughs> this is me in farming simulator 19 <laughs> this looks familiar guys i think this has happened to us before hey v3d welcome back man how have you been thank you for the resub two months now amazing stuff welcome back how are your buses doing that's you Yeah, I'm not quite thinking about 1.38 yet. I would want them to polish 1.37 first. <laughs> because this has so much potential, but in its current state, it's super raw. But I'm sure they won't uh, sit around and do nothing. I'm sure they will not uh, release it like this. So this is just a sneak peek. Here comes Blau with his tractor, saving us. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks man, appreciate it. Glad to see you here. Can you see the windows open from the outside? That's a good question. Maybe let's stop on the road um, to be on the safe side. This would be better there i think it does reflect <gasps> it works eureka so i'm sure our truck modders would have to take that into account as well that's one more complication that we will have to think about but that's good that it is implemented yep it's working F mod sounds. You can kind of hear the Doppler effect there. That's nice. I'll take it. Hey, break. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, had an ad hoc stream. Sorry for the late notice. But I got super excited and I couldn't resist. It is a completely revamped sound engine. So there are some new sounds. Some remixed sounds. And a lot of potential all mixed over. That one I think is the perfect balance. Yeah, I definitely agree with that V3D. I hope they improve it because they, the T680, right, we were just testing it. It sounded very good. They improved all the engine sounds there. Still not perfect, but much, much better than this one. F mod engine, there you go. Supposed to improve everything, affect everything, yes. It, it sure does seem like it. We have already heard some new prefab sounds. Yeah, in the. What was that? A quarry a while ago? You were hearing those amazing sounds from the, the quarry. You use F mod to test your sounds in OMC. Ah, that's great. Yeah, I've been hearing this F mod for a long time from Xplane. I think they've had it since. 
and it's pretty much a standard I think but I never knew what it was for but now I'm slowly getting the idea sure this is with windows closed fully closed and this is with windows you can even change only the left or the right window but I'm going to lower them at the same time night and day full on relying on the brakes there bad for the brakes good for the driver a lot of games use f-mode yeah i think you're right it's quite famous and rightfully so sorry for getting in the way probably too much Yes, I think they have to balance it still. Um, there are a lot of audio settings that you can change and that fade in, fade out. I can't get enough of it. When you go to the menu, the sounds fade in and out. They don't cut off. Here, I reset it to default. It was initially not like this. It was initially somewhere along... I'm not sure different definitely not all in the middle maybe that was a better balance but then that should have been set as default not all flat like this so you can increase the engine volume the truck engine change the master volume and whatnot so it seems like it works but it needs more balancing and mixing i think and this is the perfect time that's why they went to open beta so that they can get all these inputs, collate them, and uh, work them into the product. And SES has been very good at listening to the community. So I'm sure that they will uh, adjust as necessary. And we will get the product that we have been requesting for. Turn left here. I turn left here, yes. More things to adjust, yes. I'm not sure I like how... Uh, I hope you don't need to adjust them. I wish you can just set them to default and that's like going to be the scenario for like 99% of the users. Maybe the 1% will be for like the likes of safety hall or drive safety. We need to do more stuff. I like that. You can really hear the truck coming close to you, stopping right next to you. That's nice. somebody hey Gaina welcome to the stream and I just missed my turn as well <laughs> maybe we can make an illegal u-turn here it's not legal if no one catches us nah <laughs> don't, don't believe that Is that a new AI behavior? Did they program that new? That guy actually came from somewhere. Not just the gas station. Same as trailer physics, always confused by the sliders. That's true. Oh, I like this sparking not did this milk come from jack's farm how is your farm doing by the way jack any progress on the animals do you need any stuff from us i haven't gone online with the farm yet. i think this is the number one thing that we will change this sound that is disappearing when you let go of the gas for me, that is the number one immersion breaker at the moment. 
the engine sound, the the truck sounds, the improved truck sounds, I think can be to follow. But the engine cutting off and the changing the gears, those cutting off sounds, those are the number one that they need to fix. Oh my goodness, I remember this. Have to press five so we can see outside when reversing with the W900 with these huge stacks on the side. Seven thousand. <laughs> uh, perfect. Good. Stop and unload. Do we have time for one more? I don't think we have time for one more job. But what we'll do, we'll get on the Lone Star. Just take it around for a bit, just to hear if it's much better than the W900. Because from the comments I've seen in the forums, I think the W900 is one of the worst at the moment. At the moment, I'm sure they'll change it still. But yeah, it's a work in progress. Let's try this thing. Been trucking so much, I haven't gone on the farm. Yeah, we haven't had a plan yet, but I'm open to ideas, guys. Uh, treat the farm as you will, like it's your farm. So we can do some stuff with it. Because if you wait for me to move, we'll never pro progress. <laughs> So, so I'm very much open to what you have in mind. Yep. All right. Quite weak. Wrong blinkers from what I remember. Same problem with engine cutting off. Fifty three point twenty five, you better roll up those windows. Oh, you mean the fuel consumption? Oh, don't don't horn, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> I almost pressed it. Perfect timing. Be part of the gang. Get your own shirt or mug. <laughs> check out the links. Or if you're on desktop, check the panel below. Get your own clumsy mug. Oh, why don't I have a mug here? Oh, this is the vanilla. Yeah. I don't have my mug in vanilla. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I think I like the sound of this better than W900. At least the engine, the, the changing gears aren't cutting off. Right? This Jake brake sounds very different, like an exhaust brake or something. Idle sounds are not bad either. But he says bye bye bye. <laughs> yeah. So it's a very good start, a very good peek into what's happening behind the scenes. And I'm really looking forward to the updates that they will do on the open beta. So tomorrow, we'll stream again and we will check if they changed anything since then. I'm sure they have their hands full. I'm sure they're working night and day for this. They usually are. And I am confident that there will be a few changes in one day. By tomorrow, there should be something. That's what I expect. They usually work on these things very, very fast. Especially for critical issues like the engine cutting off and stuff like that. So we will see tomorrow if there are any improvements. I have high expectations, but I mean SCS usually does it like that. So I hope they deliver as well. It's very nice. 
Yeah, I think the engine sounds in the Lone Star are much, much better than the W900s. If we go all out here. Go deaf. Enjoy, Chiefs. Good luck. Play with vanilla, okay? Yeah, still cutting off. The gravel road, that's true. Let's go and look for that tomorrow. These are some very good ideas you guys are coming up with. So the coast gravel. Let's see. Maybe we'll drive on maybe I don't know, either LA or Oregon tomorrow. Maybe Oregon would be nice because we would be able to see if there's something off for uh, the east in Idaho. Go off the road into the sand. Oh yeah, that's a good uh, trial. Let's see here. It's a bit too short though to try out. It's kind of bigger area. The forest road, yeah. The ambient sounds in the forest. That would be very promising, I think. Okay, let's try it here for science. It's nice though, there is no change anymore when you peek out in the volume, it's the same, makes sense, when you, your windows are fully down, F mod, rocking out, yes. Close the windows. It's super quiet. Beautiful. All right. Let's park this here and end the stream for now. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for more trucking and in the hopes that there are more updates, more refinements, even just for the critical ones, so to speak. And my engine died. So I think we were able to go through most of the stuff today from the open at least for now. I would also be quite interested to see what new steering wheels they would add to the steering creations pack. But I think that will come later as part of incremental updates along the beta process. So in the following days and weeks they will add more and more wheels I think, steering wheels. Airfield Express. Might not be Airfield Express anymore. That's the hint <laughs> in the next episode. Have a good day, guys. Have a great evening or morning, whatever time it is. Catch you guys tomorrow for more 1.37 goodness. Have a good day. Catch you soon in Clumsy Trucking. I love these ambient sounds. Very nice. Oh, wow. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me on this adult stream. Hey Jay, just in time. <laughs> Have a good one. Catch you on Discord in the meantime. Exclamation point Discord gets you there. Keep up to date with the stuff. Alright, bye bye for now. Pray for real. <laughs>